Hey there, I'm Nicola from nicolachatham.com and if you really would love to have an organic garden that is low maintenance because you're probably pretty busy as it is and you're thinking how can I fit in time to garden? I've got a trick that I want to tell you about and it's a herb that I love to grow. It's actually my favourite plant in my whole garden so stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm talking about sorrel. It's this little beauty here. It's just in front of me and uh, the thing that I love about sorrel is it just keeps growing. It's called a perennial so it grows for more than one year without me having to replant it and it makes these beautiful beautiful delicate little soft leaves and the young leaves are beautiful in salads. I use them instead of spinach, I use them instead of lettuce and basically they form the basis of my salads. They're a little bit sour to taste, a little bit kind of lemony but a lot more flavoursome than lettuce. And um, of course, because it's a herb, it's incredibly good for you and because they're green, they're good for cleansing your liver and they're good for cleansing your blood and just all round fantastic. It also helps to alkalize your body. So I try and eat, I probably eat sorrel, well, sometimes three times a day. I'll have it chopped up with my eggs in the morning. I'll have it as a salad at lunch and then I'll always have a side salad with dinner as well. So this plant gets absolutely hacked and the amazing thing is, as you come back the next day and it's grown more leaves and it's more abundant because I'm actually using it. So find yourself some sorrel, pop it in a sunny place and uh, it's, once it gets established it can be surprisingly hardy. This one I didn't have to water um, by hand for a long time until we just had a bit of a drought season for about three months where we didn't have uh, any rain and so I put some irrigation on it. But up until then it just kept growing without me having to do anything. It's already two years old, this plant, and I've eaten oh, hundreds and hundreds of meals out of it. So grab yourself some sorrel, give it a little bit of love to get it established, and then you'll find that you've got this pantry in your backyard that you don't have to keep going to the store to buy organic greens for your salads, and sometimes you can, you can even use it in your green juices if that's what lights you up. So when you're wanting to plant sorrel, you're probably going to want to grow it from a little seedling, so a little baby plant. Uh, and that you can pick up from the nursery and, um, and then dig a little hole, put some compost in and pop it in there and tuck it in with some mulch but not so that the mulch is touching the stems and then give it some water and some love, lots of nutrients and uh, you'll end up with a flourishing hardy plant like this that just keeps giving and giving over the years and over the seasons. <laughs> An interesting little side note for medicinal uses about sorrel is it, ha it contains vitamin A, vitamin B1 and vitamin C and when it's made into a tea, so the leaves are just soaked in, in, a, um, in a hot boiling water, cup of boiling water and it makes a tea, that can be used as a, um, a mouthwash that's good for ulcers according to Isabel Shippard. So maybe your kids suffer from mouth ulcers, I know I did when I was a kid. You could make a cup of, of sorrel tea and it's like an antiseptic mouthwash. You probably let it cool down first and then let, it, then let the kids wash it around in their mouth once the water's cooled, cooled down. So it's very handy. Not only does it make beautiful salads, it's also good for ulcers, plus a whole range of other things as well. The more herbs that you can have in your daily diet, the healthier you're going to be and the more robust your immune system. So what about you? I'd love to hear in the comments below if you've grown sorrel that comes in all different varieties. There's French sorrel, there's garden sorrel and uh, how you like to use it and what you've found have been some of the um, your favourite recipes perhaps you might like to share those. For more fun organic gardening tips come on over to my website nicolachatham.com and pop your name and email in the top header and you'll get not only my quick and easy veggie patch kit for free, you'll also get my weekly newsletter sprout full of inspiration and tips for healthy living and organic gardening.